Welcome everyone. In order to connect a Logitech wireless keyboard to your iPad 10th generation, the first step is you're going to open up the settings app. You are then going to tap on Bluetooth and just make sure the Bluetooth toggle is turned on. From here, we need to find where the on or off switch is on a Logitech keyboard. So I'm going to slide this to turn on the keyboard. You then see here we have all these Bluetooth buttons. So if we just tap on one, two or three, these can be three separate devices we connect to. But in my case, I only have one device. So I'm going to click on one. And you can now see the Bluetooth device is in pairing mode. If we don't see the device, that means that the Bluetooth one has already connected to a device in the past. So to reset the pairing, we just long press and you're gonna keep on pressing down until you see this rapid blinking. And then in the iPad settings, we see the keyboard. So we'll just tap on the keyboard and we are connected. So from here, let's do some stuff. You can see command plus H, I went home. I go to the uh, keyboard prompt you can see I'm able to type on this Logitech wireless keyboard without any issues okay now a little tip and trick if you're new to iPad OS and you're using a keyboard if you want to know what the gestures are or the shortcuts long press the command key while you're on a home screen or an app and if you long press for long enough, it will show you all of the keyboard combinations you can do in order to access notification center, Siri, etc. And that's definitely very useful. And this works in all applications as well. Just long press. And if there are any shortcuts, you will see them show up. And if nothing shows up, then you don't have any extra shortcuts which you can use. So with that being said, if you want to help support the channel, there are many ways to do so in the description. So if you're using my Amazon affiliate link before purchasing, sending a super thanks or becoming a member. Bye-bye.